There's a problem with the gods in control theology. <clears throat> That's right. That's what I said. There's a problem with that theology. God allows this to happen. God allows or causes these problems to happen. So if I were, if I put sickness and disease on you or your family, robbed your money, took money from you, caused car wreck or caused someone to be murdered or killed, uh, even say your dog. <clears throat> well, would you look at me and say, well, he had a plan and purpose for that. You know, would you would you trust me? Would you ask me to heal you if I put this on you and cause you to be sick? Would you ask and beg me? <laughs> would you beg, come to me and beg, beg me and ask me what lesson I'm trying to teach you? No, you wouldn't trust me. You wouldn't want anything to do with me. That's the same thing. The same flaw we see in the Word of God that it doesn't line up with this theology. See, God is either love or is in control. The two don't mix. So, <clears throat> Jesus commissioned us, the body of Christ, to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Okay? He also said the, that there's many in the body of Christ that say, well, you can't, you can't resist God. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible tells us that it's not his will that anyone should perish, but all come to the knowledge of God. And some translations say all come to repentance. So, people, But we know that there's atheists who don't believe, who just refuse. There's a head of the Satan wars where he died. He said last words were, oh God, what have I done? <laughs> so he knew he messed up. Time now is to repent. Repent, turn to Jesus. But Acts 7 verse 51 says this. It says, you stiff-necked, uncircumcised heart and ears. You do always resist the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which I'm translation, as your fathers did, so do you. So can you resist God? Yeah. You're resisting God when you when you believe that He's trying to do bad things to you or allowing bad things to happen to you. Job is not a New Testament believer's point to get to. Job is not he's an old testament figure. He is not a New Testament um a person we need to be looking up to. We can gain some stuff from Job, the book of Job, but we can't gain a tremendous amount. What we can do is look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection, to realize as a born-again believer, his life lives on the inside of us. We have to live from the born-again spirit on the inside of us. God is not the author, the cause, or allowing your problems to happen. Tragedies, sicknesses, disease, Earthquakes, any of that stuff. We live in a fallen world. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 4 says that Satan is the God of this world. And maybe also take responsibility for stupid mistakes that you've made. I've made stupid mistakes and I had to repent, turn to Jesus for it. But you know what? God is the answer. He's not the problem. And he's not guilty. I pray that blesses you. We love you, but more importantly, Jesus loves you. And make sure if you are blessed by this, make sure you follow us, subscribe, and like us on our uh, social media channels. Talk to you soon.